Hi, welcome to my short tutorial about multiple keys to open a single door. Um, we're going to go ahead and place some keys down. We'll make this example be three, and we'll put a door over here as well, so the door won't open unless all three keys are picked up, and it won't matter which order you pick them up either. So that's the point of this tutorial. So at the moment, we'll grab all three keys. We're going to go ahead and make them collectible no behaviors, edit logic, and we're gonna change the collect message to key. So go ahead, change it from collect to key. Now anytime you pick up one of these keys, a message will be sent that says the message key. Awesome. And we don't want the door uh, to have any indicators uh, but we don't want it to be opened up with interact either. So uh, we want it to open up when we have key dot three. So when we open, when we click the third key, the door will open. So we'll go ahead and do key three on the door. Okay, so the door requires key three to open and when you collect the key, it sends the message key. Nice and easy. Now let's put in some middlemen. We'll get our trusty numpad and we'll go ahead and we'll remove all the pre-existing behaviors and components and we'll go ahead and put in our own. We'll put in our message broadcaster and our toggle behavior. These are the only two things you really need to do most of the mechanics uh, and also health and speaker is good too. Now for this one, we want it to be on we don't want any messages to toggle the behavior on or off, so we'll go ahead and make that none. We're going to wait for a message before it broadcasts, so we're going to go and click true. The message we want to wait for is key. So when we pick up a key, a message will be sent to this message broadcaster. Perfect. Now the message we want to send is everyone in range. And we'll keep it at 10. We'll just make it near the door. And the message we want to send is key dot one. So we'll go ahead and put that here. Key one. Excellent. Uh, and we want to turn off this behavior with key one dot off because we're going to do a chain and the chains are turned on and off with the toggle behavior. So I'll go ahead and do key dot one dot off. Okay, so this message broadcaster will initially be on. It's going to wait for a message called key. When it does, it's going to send a message key, key one to everyone in range. So what we're gonna do now is duplicate it, control D. And we'll bring it next to it over here so it's easy to identify. And we'll go ahead and edit the logic. Now we don't want this one to be on at the start. We want this to turn on when it receives the message key one. Perfect. When it receives the message key one, I want it to send a message. Oh, sorry, when it, yes, when it receives the message key one, it will turn on and then it will listen for the key. When a key is picked up, it will send the message key two. Awesome. And now we can duplicate this. Bring it over next to it. Edit the logic. Now the last one sends a message key two. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on this behavior with key two.
Uh, oops, that's not what we want. We want key to. Awesome. And once it receives a key, it will send a message key three. And key three is the message that opens the door. Fantastic. So all we need to worry about now is the off messages in the previous ones. So let's go back to the first one. When it sends the message key one, we need something to turn it off, which is key one off. So if we go over here, we don't have anything that sends the message key one off. Once it receives key one, it just turns this toggle on. So what we can do here is put on our speaker. We're going to wait for the message key one, just like this toggle is. change that to one and once it receives the message key one we're going to send the message key one off so if we go over here and type in key one off fantastic so now when this message sends key one it turns that on and also that sends the message to turn the first one off the second one needs to turn off with key two off. So we'll go ahead and change that one here. Awesome. So when we, re when we collect a key, when this is on, it will send the message key two. So we're gonna go over here and select the last one because when it receives key two, we also need to send a message to turn off the other toggle behavior. So we'll go ahead and get this speaker on. It will too also wait for the message key two. And when it does receive that message, it will send a message key to off. Fantastic. Now we don't want this to turn off with key one, obviously. So we're going to turn that to none because that is our last message in the chain. If you do want to turn it off because you might have more keys in another room that will use the same message, all you need to do is just put an off message that gets sent when this door opens. So when this door opens with key three and you edit logic, you can send a message when it opens and you can send a mes message when it closes. So when key three uh, is sent because you picked up your third key, you can send a message when it opens to turn off this toggle behavior if you want to add that into your game. Um, but let's go ahead and test that out and see how it works. So we've got our three keys. We'll go ahead and pick one of them up. We'll go ahead and pick two of them up. And we'll pick the third one. And there you go. The door opens. Nice and easy. And you can pick them up in any order you like. Um, and they will all do the same thing. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions just message me in discord have a great day